to our top story. You're sick. People make me sick. Deputies move in on people living in a house in southeast Portland. The bank calls them squatters, breaking in and living there illegally. Police say it's a growing problem in Portland, squatters taking over foreclosed homes. As we showed you in our Problem Solvers investigation, these kinds of cases can take a long time to resolve, but tonight there is a resolution. k Carrie Tomlinson is here now, and Carrie, this case has been going on for months. Yes, neighbors in southeast Portland say it has been long and frustrating. The alleged squatters causing problems in the neighborhood, noise, yelling, bringing in a criminal element. Well, tonight, for the neighbors, the waiting is over. After four months, it's time for the people living here to move out. Sheriff's office, we have a court order dinner. Come to the door. The court hearings are over. The eviction is in place. Deputies tell them to pack up and go. You guys are nothing to me. You're just a bunch of monkeys. You mix with the little. They claim they paid money to a mystery landlord to stay here, but their stories don't match on what that landlord looks like, who paid him, how much, and when. Get that. Oh no, no, Get that. Are you Carlo? Neighbors say the alleged squatters called them names and harassed them. Police could not move them out without a court order. You know I call your city? Parasite clown city. Roberta makes calls, tries to delay, and claims there's been an error. Then you have the right to stay. take them to court. No, not stay. You're done. A lot of people say, oh, we didn't know. And, yeah, you knew, and we're here today. <laughs> it's, it's a done deal, so you can try and bargain all you want, but, you know, it's an order from a judge. One last time, any questions? New locks. Roberta and Carlos out on the front lawn with their things. After four months, the eviction is over. So you got to be alert. That's the only way to keep it from happening again, is you have to be aware of what's going on. Now, we've heard from neighbors in different parts of Portland who say the same thing is happening to them there. Police say call quickly before squatters establish residency rights, and that is two weeks in the house, and then they have a certain amount of rights. And a tough situation here because the bank owns, and the bank isn't monitoring these homes and walking by to see what's going on. No, and there are so many foreclosed homes around Portland and around the city right. and around the country that they, they may not be able to keep up. And really, at this point, they would need to have someone in there at least every two weeks to make sure that someone hasn't moved in and is Established residency. Right. All right. Thanks, Carrie.